Dog Star segment of Dog TV and brought to you by Pet Express. Hi, I'm Sean Yao, and these are my French Bulldogs. This is Rosie. She's a little over two. This is Fabi, and he's almost one. I used to live in a house with a garden, with golden retrievers and a beagle, but when we moved here, there was just no way. I've always wanted a bulldog. I read up about French Bulldogs, and everywhere you read it says they make really great apartment dogs. They're really funny dogs, and they're really sweet. They're funny, and look at that face. They don't have to do much. <laughs> they're really cute, and they know how to cheer you up. We sleep together <laughs> the whole day. They're not very active dogs, but they are playful, so they will want to play. But when you're tired, they get tired too, so it's really perfect. They're not too demanding. They're just happy to be beside you, really. If I sit here, they'll be happy just sitting with me. And I like that. French Bulldogs are brachycephalic dogs, meaning they have no snout. Or they look like they slammed into a wall. Um, therefore, that means they have difficulty breathing and they're very prone to heat stroke. You're not supposed to over-exercise them and you're not supposed to bring them out when it's really hot outside. The snorting, it's pretty much a way of life and you just get used to it after a while. They also snore at night really loudly and they fart a lot. It's silent and sometimes there's a little sound but they do fart a lot. I feed them kibble that's specifically made for French Bulldogs. For lunch, um, they eat a little bit of boiled meat and rice and vegetables. So that lunch is real food and then dinner is kibble. Well, I think French Bulldogs are really great if you're really busy, if you have a small space, if you have small children, or if you're depressed. Because seriously, these dogs really cheer you up. Somehow they know not to be too rambunctious around children. And they really put up with a lot of the pulling, the poking, the tugging, the squishing of the ears. Very patient dogs. Well, he's a lot sweeter than her. <laughs> she's really aloof. She will not come when, he's, when she's called. He will follow you around. He's a lot more insecure than her. He always has to come first or he'll just push her away. I got Rosie first. Because I moved here and I kind of got a little bit depressed. I got her just to help me adjust because I'm not used to life without a dog. When I started becoming really busy with work, I got this one for my birthday last year. It's a birthday gift for myself to keep her company. And he is, he's great company. They came from different breeders because this breeder tattoos all his dogs. It's here on her ear. You can do that. I don't think it hurts. It's an alternative to microchipping. So he's jealous now because I'm touching her. <laughs> This is the toy chicken. It's their newest toy. It makes a sound. And it really drives this guy crazy. See? <laughs> He's really crazy about the longanisa. She doesn't really like the longanisa. It's hers, but she didn't ever play with it, so. He goes crazy with the long and it's really funny. I don't <laughs> see. <laughs> I think a lot of them don't realize that it's really a big responsibility. Because they don't really grow up. They, they always depend on you and they always look at you for everything. Food, cleanliness, playtime. And if you don't have time to spend with your dog, then you have to make sure that when you're gone, that someone's there, someone who likes dogs. They make me happy. They really, really make me happy. I don't know if I make them happy, but they sure do make me happy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean. This is Rosie. This is Fabian. And you're watching Dog TV. Dog Star segment of Dog TV brought to you by Pet Express.